Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Present. Your command. Your command. Keep them quiet. What is the next quest? Come out, my son, and fight for me! What is the next quest?
Understood. Presence. Your command. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. You desire an audience, and what do you offer? Inventory? Every coin was wisely spent. Inventory, shipment. Every coin was wisely spent. You desire an ordinance. Hmm. No threats. No First technique, optimal. Optimal training. My senses are clearer now.
presence. Your command. What is the next quest? are you? This place ain't safe, you know. Get out of here already. I am Rowan of the Mithril Consortium. I am here to attend the Golden Banquet. This is my invitation from Lord France. I don't care if you're the Crown Prince of Asperia. No one's allowed around these parts. We don't have time to play with a bunch of twerps like you. Now scram. Is that any way to treat a guest? I'll be sure to tell your employer all about this. By all means, go ahead, and remind him to pay our wages while you're at it. These gruglins here just won't leave. No one in their right mind should be doing this job. You. It's time to leave, Brinsling. This way's blocked off. Go play somewhere else. Guards. We'll have to find another way in. You noticed it too, right, Magister? On top of all the guards, there's also a magical barrier protecting this place. Which means... Lord Franz is working with mages! Could there be another way to get in from the back of the manor? Yeah, maybe around the back. I'm fairly familiar with the surrounding area, but there's only one way in. Wait! I can hear people speaking underground. Hmm. It's coming from below us. Could there be underground dwellers here too? Wait, I just remembered. Lord Franz was boasting about some kind of secret passage he had installed in his manor. An escape tunnel of sorts. Nobles do tend to build hidden passages like this in their homes. I have one as well. Ah, I wouldn't know anything about that since I'm not a noble. What can you hear down there, bunny ears? Mm. Oh, it's no use. The barrier is preventing me from hearing anything. 
Looks like I'll need the wind to help me with this. The wind? How's that going to help you? Did I forget to mention it? Aside from my excellent hearing, I'm also a wind whisperer. A wind whisperer? I've heard of them. Only a small number of forest dwellers can command that kind of power. It's just as the name implies. Wind whisperers are capable of using the wind to communicate. You really are a learned individual, Miss Cassidy. Yes, with this power, I can ask the winds to guide us through our current predicament. As you command. Now, what seems to be the problem? Our limited resources, the ritual won't be entirely precise. Everything depends on this next part. I need to focus on gathering spiritual energy next. There are a number of magical disturbances nearby. Please help Miss Cassidy get rid of them, so I can focus without interruption. As for guiding the magic, I'll leave that to you. This magic ritual requires a certain medium in order to commune with nature. Once it's ready, Nature will point me in the right direction. Please place the bay twigs in the three correct locations so that I can establish a link with nature.
Lord of the winds, so wild and free, I stand before you, as you can see. I hear your breath, I feel your grace. Let me fall into your boundless embrace. May the dust fly in the wind's gentle breeze and whisper my prayers to you with ease. I am Lawson, yearning for your aid in all in anticipation of your guiding call. So this is wind whispering. Magic that directly communicates with nature. Is this magic rare? Yes. Only those born with certain innate abilities are capable of harnessing it. I could spend my whole life studying this type of magic and never be able to use it. That's selective, even by magical standards. Found it. There's a hidden cave somewhere, at the foot of the mountains to the northeast. The entrance to Lord Francis' secret passage is hidden in that cave. There are only a few guards there. This could be our chance. The wind is unpredictable, and can shift at a moment's notice. We need to hurry before anything changes. Those two guards. Don't their helmets look a little different from the others we've seen? They don't appear to be Lord Francis' henchmen, or even the mercenaries he hired. It's the Adamant Syndicate! There's no mistaking it. I recognize the insignia. That's the mark of the Adamant Syndicate. Since the hidden passage is in that cave, it must mean that they're helping Lord Franz guard it, right? Guess it doesn't matter. We could just beat the answers out of them. Wait, did you forget we're trying to sneak in? A big fight will only draw unnecessary attention. Everyone stay calm. We've got to play it safe. I have a plan. I was only joking, Lorson. No need to get so riled up. I know we can't use force to sneak in, which means we have to find a way to distract them. Sounds like a job for me. I'll do my best to draw their attention, while the rest of you slip into the secret passage. Hold it right there, kid. Leave the dangerous stuff to me. Did you forget, Mr. Valen? I'm the only one here with the gold invitation. They wouldn't dare to do anything to me. Besides, I agreed to come along in order to repay you for all you've done. So don't worry. I'm not only lucky in business, Lady Luck always smiles at me when I need it the most. Greetings! Um, I seem to be lost. Could you please point me toward Lord Franz's manor? I've come to attend the Golden Banquet. I have the invitation right here. Beat it, kid. And get that paper out of my face. Wait, could it be that you too are lost as well? Or are you unaware of the grand feast that Lord Franz is hosting at his manor tonight? You asked too many questions, kid. Now get lost. Oh, I meant no offense. I just wanted to ask for directions. I told you, get lost, squirt. 
If you're not gone in the next three seconds, I'm going to beat some sense into you. Everywhere for you. I can't believe you were hiding here all along. So, are you surprised to see me? P -p Peggy? Hey, is that any way to greet your fiance? You've been dodging me at every turn. I even lost my ring because I've been chasing after you for so long. It's probably somewhere by the beach east of here. What are you two just standing around here for? Hurry up and help me find it! You mean us? Why should we listen to you? How dare you talk to Princess Peggy that way! Princess? You want to know why you should help me? Because I'm in a good mood today. Whoever finds that ring gets to keep it. The ruby on that ring is worth more than Lord Francis' entire manor. Really? Where is it? I I'll go and find it right now. Everything's okay now, Rowan. Your friends already snuck in. It's been a while, hasn't it? I can't believe how much Braddock has grown. <laughs> Peggy? What exactly are you doing here? I came to see you, of course. I went to Hollistone to find you. And the people from the Mithril Consortium told me you were attending a banquet at Lord Francis Manor tonight. This place is extremely dangerous, especially for you. Don't forget, you're the heir to the entire Mithril Consortium. Your very existence is a thorn in the side of many people here. Me? A thorn? A lot has happened ever since you decided to travel the world on your own. There's a great conspiracy brewing, Rowan, and right at its center is Lord France, the lord of this manor. for this.
Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Welcome, honored guests. How may I be of service? Are you going to the banquet hall? The banquet hall is just ahead. Please, enter at your earliest convenience. Once you pass through the vineyard, you should be able to see the dining area. Please forgive me, but the preparations for this area are not complete. I cannot leave my post. However, there are plenty of guards around the vineyard. Should you encounter any issues, feel free to ask for their assistance. Yes, they will be in charge of security for tonight's banquet. Rest assured, they have seen the guest list and will not trouble you in any way. To prevent any unsavory guests from entering, Lord Franz has asked the guards to record the names and appearances of every visitor before welcoming them. It's only common courtesy for us to do so. Should any unlisted persons or imposters be found on the premises, they will be swiftly removed. My pleasure. Well, victory is deserved. Inventory, shipments, deliveries. Am I missing anything? Phew. Time for a break. Come here, Braddock.
Well, victory is deserved. from the ley lines. If any guests were to drink this stuff, they would completely lose their minds. After that, they would just pass out, right? No, even worse. They shall become pliable, obedient puppets. All guests in attendance are rich and powerful nobles. Lord Fran sure knows how to treat his guests, huh? Doesn't look like he invited everyone over for a night of food and fun, does it? You're the only one who would crack jokes at a time like this. But you do see it, right? Lord Franz is just using this banquet to gain control over those nobles. If all of those nobles end up as Lord Franz's puppets... No. We need to stop this before it happens. Hear that? That's the sound of the dinner bell. Which means the banquet is about to begin. Honored guests, the banquet will begin momentarily. Please find your seats in the hall just ahead. Lord Franz wishes to welcome everyone before the feast. Welcome, my distinguished guests, and thank you for gracing my home with your presence this evening. My name is Franz. As you can all see, these are gem vine grapes. A special variety that can only be produced in these lands. Now, allow me to present the masterpiece of tonight's banquet. Our most unique brew, crafted using only the best gem vine grapes. Tonight, everyone attending the Golden Banquet will have the opportunity to savor it. At our current capacity, we can produce 20,000 casks of brew per year. More than enough to fill the goblets of every noble in the royal capital, I'm sure. Please believe me when I say this brew has the potential to add even more flavor to your lives. Oh? From what I've heard, bad weather resulted in awful harvests across the region. Northville's wheat and Southville's gemvine grapes were both affected. Could it be that Merlin's ward no longer works? In the future, will you still be able to grow these gemvine grapes in Ryham? No, milady. These are just rumors. Well, y yes, that's it. Baseless, fear-mongering rumors, and, and nothing more. With the decades-long disappearance of Merlin, it's only natural that the protection over Ryham has been compromised. But I can assure you it has not affected me in the least. Hmm, perhaps so. But Southfield's output isn't nearly enough to sustain your grandiose promises. I have already spoken to the residents of Northville, my lady. They will begin sowing our grapes as soon as the weather allows. No need to worry. That jerk? I can't believe he's... It's you lot! God! Throw these damn curs out right now! Ah, I knew it would come to this sooner or later. Looks like our game of hide-and-seek is over. Get ready to fight!
I expected. I've been asking myself the same question. Who am I? A villainous murderer? Some flame-weaving witch? Or your most loyal student? Please answer me, my dear Magister Merlin. magic he used to conceal it, I was never fooled. At first, I was only suspicious. But when we fought against that wind elemental, I saw his magical array. Sorry to interrupt, Miss Muriel, but you seem aware of everything. Do you happen to know where that hypo fiend came from? You've all been lied to this entire time. Lied to by my mentor. What Merlin placed over Ryham wasn't a war. But rather, a seal. As for why this hypo-fiend appeared when it did, it was pure coincidence as far as I can tell. The seal continues to weaken, and the hypo-fiend used a brief lapse in the seal's power to escape. Somehow I doubt it was a coincidence. If anything, it was probably part of Dura's plan. Anyway, you must have forgotten that you placed a seal on this place long ago, right Merlin? Otherwise, you would have known someone was trying to break the seal, and we wouldn't have gone through all of that trouble. The way you said that, you didn't sound surprised at all. When did you figure out who he was? Please. General Hogan would have kicked me out of the Heroic Order ages ago if I couldn't even figure out that much. Anyways, how was Berlin's seal broken in the first place? It couldn't just be those grapes, right? Don't underestimate those grapes, even though they're not magical. They're like ticks, sucking the power from the earth, contaminating the ley lines, and disrupting the magical balance of the land. In doing so, they can weaken the seal. Ah! Oh, does that mean the strange weather in Ryham is being caused by a magical imbalance in nature? You are a smart mage. As it stands, there is only a small break in the seal. But if you fail to repair it soon, the consequences will be unimaginable. The Hypofiend was not the only thing sealed beneath these lands. There's no telling what other sinister things are hidden underneath. <laughs> Mysterious as ever, Magister Merlin. Even now you are still unwilling to tell me more than what is necessary. I imagine it's because I no longer exist in your memories. I've been searching for you for the last 20 years, but no matter what magic I employed, I found no trace of you. At the time, I feared that something had happened to you. I don't blame you for forgetting about me, but it hurts all the same. I never thought you, of all people, would console me someday. You used to be so strict with me, after all. You are incredible, Lady Muriel. I have nothing but the utmost respect for you. I have never seen or heard of any other mage who could command Merlin's magic. 
Did Magister Merlin teach you this? Yes. Magister Merlin once said that I was his greatest student, and this was his reward for me. Whoa! I am so jealous of you. But in the end, I was forgotten by my dearest teacher. I'd rather that he never truly cared for me. I'm sure my Magister didn't want to forget you, Miss Muriel. Magister places a lot of importance on the feelings of others. It's just... A lot of things have happened lately, and you're not the only person who's been forgotten. I see. Thank you, little one. Magister Merlin, to this day, I still haven't mastered the techniques you once taught me. Even after 20 years, I still have yet to catch up to you. But for many, it is only in the coldness of solitude that a flame is finally sparked. As it stands, it looks like you no longer need me. But even if it's in the smallest of ways, just this once, could I please help you? For you, any time. After all, you are my dearest. Magister Merlin. Hmm. I see. I see. Merlin. I finally found you. What happened? I seem to have missed a lot. All because you insisted on going through the secret passage. Who said we couldn't go through the main entrance of the manor? I just don't want to get mixed up with the Adamant Syndicate. With me around, the Adamant Syndicate wouldn't dare do such a thing. Please accept the gratitude of the royal family, my dear Magister. My fiancé is in your care. Uh, everyone, allow me to introduce you to the Pearl of the Lightbearer Empire, Princess Peggy of Safana. No need to bow. Rowan said you're his friend, so I allow you to ignore the formalities. Oh, uh, that, that's, uh... You're so indecisive. What are you afraid of? This marriage was decided before I was even born by the royal family and Reginald, who is currently the wealthiest man in the Empire and Rowan's father. A marriage contract is established upon the birth of a princess of the realm. Both parties hold fast to their promises and chastity until they reach adulthood, when the wedding is formalized. That's how it works. Because this has nothing to do with my business ventures. It's a personal matter. There's something I... need to tell you in private. Peggy is the princess of the Lightbearer Empire. Being able to marry into the royal family is also a guarantee for the Mithril Consortium. In the years after the engagement, the Mithril Consortium stayed strong even despite the emergence of the Adamant Syndicate. That's because of the constant support of the royal family. This marriage is purely in the interests of my father and the royal family. It's a win-win situation, one would say. While Peggy didn't seem averse to our engagement, for which I am grateful, she and I were just pawns to our parents. Before I'm sufficiently independent to build my own business, I cannot make any commitment to Peggy, unless it's on my own terms. I hope in the future she can see the real me, Rowan, the best merchant in the land, the new upstart of the Empire, and not just the heir of the Mithril Consortium. What was said here stays between us. You cannot tell her.
I heard you found evidence connecting Lord Franz to the fire in Northville. What's this mess about? I see. Lord Franz hired mages from the Adamant Syndicate to set fire to Northville, presumably to coerce them into planting grapes. He was actually using these grapes to absorb magic out of the land to weaken your... I mean, Merlin's magic seal. No need to hide it anymore, General. We all know he is the great Merlin. What? When did they find out about your real identity? Letting him pretend to be a fool is harder than saving the world. I'll explain everything in my report, but there's no need to worry. Luckily, the only people who know his true identity are all right here, General. Wait, where's Lord Franz? He fainted at the sight of the monster. So I tied him up and tossed him aside. <laughs> the Adamant Syndicate? How could a bunch of merchants break Merlin's seal? They're not ordinary merchants. He also captured an Adamant Syndicate mage back at Lord Franz's manor. I'm sure you have plenty of questions for her, right? Come with me. I'll need your help with the interrogation. Magister Merlin, the seal! Even though we defeated the Hypofiend, the grapes have already thrown the land's magic into chaos! The blizzards engulfing Ryham and Hollistone won't stop unless the seal is repaired. And if it breaks, even more Hypofiends are going to appear and attack everyone. Let me tag along. Watching you cast spells up close is like living a dream. I'm in pure bliss. So where exactly did you place your seal? During my investigation, I scoured all of Ryham for it. I even checked the Grunglin's nest, but found nothing. So now you finally remember your beloved student, do you? Unfortunately, to keep the seal's location as hidden as possible, you refused to let me accompany you at the time. We parted ways just outside of Ryham. As for the specific location of the seal, I can't say for sure. Then can you at least take us to the place where you parted ways, Miss Muriel? <laughs> of course. I could never forget the sight of my teacher waving goodbye to me that day. Well, victory is deserved.
I'll be praised for this, right? Well, victory is deserved. Tunnel looks like it was dug by hand, but there's no way in. The entrance must have caved in during the battle just now. Wow, I can't even hear the sound of wind passing through. This tunnel's been completely warded off. Guess we'll just have to go around then. It looks like Miss Muriel was pointing us towards the heights north of Ryham. I know a path to get there. Follow me. What is the next quest? Well, victory is deserved. All this, right? Don't hurry! Your delivery's coming up! Well, victory is deserved.
what is the next quest? Well, victory is deserved. What is the next quest? Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Silence. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Silence. Don't hurry! Your delivery is coming up! I'll be praised for this, right? What is the next quest? Inventory, shipments, deliveries. Am I missing anything? Oh, yes, gifts for my customers. Hmm. <sighs> 
No th
you desire an audience. Being a noble is always being on top. for this. For me!
Well, victory is deserved. As you command. Now, what seems to be... Come on, you'll need my spear. Just as I expected.
first techniques. Optimal training. Listen. Ah, new branches. Well, victory is deserved. 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 Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Don't hurry! Your delivery is coming up! Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Scanning the area. Well, victory is deserved. Don't hurry! Your delivery is coming up! Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Be praised for this, right? Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Don't hurry! Your delivery's coming up! Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Silence. Well, victory is deserved. What is the next quest? No hurry! Your delivery is coming up! Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. Silence. Scanning the air. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my sword, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved. 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 Don't hurry! Your delivery is coming up! Well, victory is deserved.
Come out, my son, and fight for me! Silence. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Don't worry! Your delivery is coming up! Well, victory is deserved. Victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Come out, my son, and fight for me! Don't hurry! Your delivery is coming up! Well, victory is deserved.
Understood. I'll keep them quiet. What is the next quest? Well, victory is deserved. for this.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. for this.